the time has come. It's 2024 and I think you know what that means. It's time for another annual What's In My Camera Bag video, 2024. Now starting off with one of the old items that I've always kept in my bag, which is the DJI Osmo Mobile 4. Uh, this is a gimbal for your smartphone. And if I just take it out of its case, as you can see, it unfolds and this little magnetic, which is actually quite a strong magnet, uh, you can uh, widen that and it clamps onto your back of your phone. So you can attach the magnet to the other magnet bit on here. And then obviously you can power this on and it has a joystick and different function buttons so you can use to get really smooth shots with your phone. It's actually what I started off posting on this channel. Uh, if you look back, I did a lot of gimbal videos. So yeah, this is what I used and I've still got it in my bag to this day. I've had this item for quite a while now. Uh, it's an SD card case, carrying case, and you can open it up and it has obviously all different cutouts to put your micro SD cards and SD cards in. Um, this is an old SD card that I used for my previous camera. I also have a spare SD card in this little SD card plastic case. Something I picked up fairly recently was the KNF Concept CPL filters. So I got this because CPL filters tend to minimize the amount of reflections and glare coming off non metallic surfaces, for example, water and windows. So I thought this would be quite cool to pick up just to keep in my camera bag and you never know when you might need a CPL filter to block out and minimize the reflections. This is from the Nano K series filter range. I'm really excited to use it. As I said, I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to hopefully it produces really good images. The next item on this list is a dust blower. I use this to clean mostly the dust off my sensor and lenses that's about it. It's really handy to have in your bag or just a cleaning sensor kit in general is really good to have. The next item on this list is the Peak Design Capture Clip. I've been using it for around like two years or so, but I currently, I currently have the capture clip on my bag strap. As you can see, you can adjust these screws on either side to adjust the tightness of whatever you want to attach it to. You screw this part to the bottom of your camera and then once this is screwed to the bottom of your camera it has these like little slits in the back of the mount so all you have to do is bring it to your capture clip and all you have to do is just slide it down and it will automatically just clamp in and once that's in your camera is secure it's not going anywhere because at the other side I don't know if you can see there it there's a little black like button here if you squeeze that in what it will do there's a little pin here and that will come into the center and it will allow you to release the camera and pull it out from the top but when your camera's secured in it ain't going anywhere so this is a really good item to have in your camera bag or not even in your camera bag just on your camera uh, bag strap or wherever you like to keep your camera this is a really good item it's really compact and it allows you to have your hands free all the time, which I'm not complaining about. Now I can't go anywhere to photograph anything or shoot a video without having spare battery. So I take along this battery pack from Anchor. It has a little button here, which you can press to see four blue dots lights. And if you press it a sync another time, it will show a green light, which means the battery is full. And once the green light goes off the blue lights will reduce from four to one lights depending on how much battery is left in this battery pack leading on nicely from this i also carry a bunch of cables and like screws so i have a usb a to uh, micro usb another one and a usb a to usb c and there's a bunch of other ones in my camera bag but yeah I can't go anywhere without taking cables because you never know if you want to import something. It's just handy to have a bunch of cables. You can't go wrong, um, but make sure you've got one for every type of USB port 
that you own. These are really helpful. Finally, moving on to my main setup, which is the current setup I'm using now. I'm actually using the 17 to 28 millimeter f2.8 Tamron lens, which I got last year, November. I've actually taken a fair few photos, but I do want to do some street photography because I'm excited to see what this lens offers with it being a zoom lens going from 17 millimeters, uh, which is pretty wide to 28 millimeters, a bit more cropped in. So I'm excited to see what it can do in the street photography sector. But I also picked up the Sony a7 III camera, which you can see a bit more about up here because I did a video on that, but yeah, I'm actually enjoying it so far. It makes things a lot more easier than the Fujifilm camera that I used to use a while back. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out any other videos on my channel and like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.